Hi everyone, my name is Neil Petropoulos. I'm the product director for Clarity here at Carnegie. And today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about how we use Carnegie Clarity to report back on marketing attribution. Uh, today's scenario is gonna be focused primarily on stealth applicants, which I know is everyone's favorite topic within higher ed. They proved to be elusive and there's a lot that we can learn from them and a lot more to the story of marketing attribution if we just focus on origin source, which is a great segue into this first little slide that I got for you. So uh, take a quick journey with me. Let's take a look at the fictitious story that we're telling, but one that we see all the time in higher ed. So when I think about a stealth applicant, their journey can often look something like this, where a student perhaps is interacting with your brand for the first time organically. They start looking at admissions content, perhaps they're looking for the program that they're interested in, and then they bounce, they sleep on it. Later on, they're exposed to a, a retargeting ad, whether it's Facebook, Google ads, you name it, it could be anything. And the hope with these ads is that you can drive that traffic to a landing page. And once at that landing page, you can convert that traffic into leads. But often what happens is that that just doesn't go down. That student continues to be anonymous, but that click did happen. That marketing campaign did do a job. It grabbed the attention of that student. It brought them to you, but they didn't convert. And then days, weeks, maybe even a year later, that student finally converts. In this case, they submit their application via the Common App. That Common App lead gets sent over to your team. It gets uploaded into your CRM. In this case, I'm going to be using some language that's really specific to Slate. And the origin source or lead source for that user is then defined as a stealth applicant. So as your team is doing reporting on which channels and sources brought to you applicants or admitted students throughout the year, no one could really fault you for giving all the credit to the Common App in this case, but you shouldn't give the common app or the application or origin source, whatever it is, all the credit. There's more to the story. There's more that influences that user throughout the way. So with Carnegie Clarity, we're able to present that story and show you that information in a better way. I think that there are a few details about how we approach marketing attribution that allows that to be true. So first is that when we think about marketing attribution for Clarity, we talk about it as a multi-touch attribution model, meaning that there's no first touch or last touch bias. It, it doesn't matter if Jane Doe clicks on a PPC campaign and then a Facebook ad and then a YouTube video. All of those different touch points are able to receive equal weight. It can take a tremendous amount of time for a student to convert into an enrolled student. So we wanna be able to present all that information to you in a single spot. But certainly one of the challenges, and I think that advertising agencies and marketing teams at schools feel us the most, is that if you do that, it can be really easy to start double counting conversions and lose track of the number of KPIs or conversion moments that are happening for the number of individual students that exist. So what's unique about Clarity is that it's person-scoped, it's person-based, and we're able to connect directly into your CRM so that we can provide you with this very detailed and honest and fair view of all the different channels that are out there that your students are interacting with without losing track of the number of individual students that we're talking about throughout the way. Uh, and then the last thing, we'll see this on the next slide, is that because we use an external dashboarding system, we use uh, Google's Looker Studio product, it provides a great ease of use for your team. You don't have to worry about adjusting queries or adjusting filters if you're using Slate reporting. You can access all of that information in a pretty friendly UI to get on-demand reporting using filters and uh, you know, answering questions and looking at segments that matter most to you. So with that, let's go through a quick example of how we can use this dashboard to look at a really popular reporting question. So first, an introduction. Within this dashboard itself, you'll see three different columns. Moving from left to right, on the far left, we have leads. These are all of your inquiries and prospects, and we'll typically break it down so that you can see what the entry term is for those prospects and inquiries that you have. The middle column is focused on applicants. As soon as a lead starts an application, their status is upgraded and that user moves into the middle column. So all of the numbers that are represented here are unique people, allowing you to understand what your funnel looks like at any given period of time. So applicants are started or submitted applicants, and then on the far right are decided, basically anyone who has received an admissions decision, whether that's a positive one, such as being admitted or that student actually submitting their deposit, 
or a negative one, like that student being denied admission to the school. The bottom set of tables, this is where we can see details about which campaigns these students clicked on. Uh, what you can see as the top row for every single table is PPC or pay-per-click. Basically, any single ad that a user clicks on, whether it's an advertising a platform ad or an email communication campaign, has an opportunity to be presented within this chart. And then we have a series of filters up at the top, which can vary from client to client to allow you to drill down in that reporting further and further. So let's return to that uh, initial scenario that we talked about for those stealth applicants. What I'm doing here is leveraging a filter for origin source to take a look at all of the records who were created within this instance who have application as the origin source there. We can see that the numbers have changed. They haven't changed too much, but they've certainly changed. And we can see the total number of applicants and decisions that are listed out. What's unique is that if you're just doing your reporting based off of origin source, you're missing out on the opportunity to give credit to all of these different sources that are in this bottom right table here to understand the impact that an advertising agency like Carnegie might have contributed to the whole or a specific channel or another partner or your own email campaigns. So basically what we're doing here is allowing you to look and take a look at any specific strategy, whether it's based off of origin source or a different campaign and see all other touch points that those students have interacted with that allowed that person to get to the position that they're at in the funnel. Let's go through one other scenario, a typical thing that we see all the time for our reported calls with our clients, which is trying to understand the impact that a specific tactic had on enrolled students. So in this view, I have a few other filters applied. The first filter I have is medium. This is going to show me all of the students who have clicked on a PPC or a pay-per-click ad. And then I also have a filter for decision status. I'm basically looking for anyone who has been offered a positive admission decision, meaning that they have been admitted, have their deposit pending, or have already deposited. And then I'm going to use an entry term filter just to weed out anyone who might have submitted a deposit for terms in the future. So what this lets me see, which is really unique to the visibility that you would uh, otherwise miss out on from an advertising platform, is being able to understand not just how many applications or web actions were driven from a PPC campaign, but the quality of those actions themselves. This can be a tremendous aid to marketers on both sides of the team, whether it's with your advertising agency or just at the university level, because it pairs really beautifully that offline admissions data that you have within Slate that allows you to understand the quality of the applicants along with the effectiveness of different tactics and channels that you're running across the board. So thank you for the time and definitely reach out with additional questions about Carnegie Clarity and marketing attribution, how it can work for you.